It's just about that time, isn't it? Back to school. More like back to your annual psychological beatings under the guise of education. Where you get to learn how to be a dumbed down zombie while slowly having your morale destroyed from the inside out. Where you can get in trouble if you so much as say boo or for doing this or even this. You know, the ocelot hand gesture. And when I mean trouble, I'm not just talking about being sent to the principal's office or detention. I'm talking about being suspended, arrested, even expelled for stupid, nonsensical reasons. You know, like the ones I mentioned a few seconds ago. Uh, every other time you're just being taught fabrication or BS. I mean, yeah, sure, you get useful things out of schools like mathematics, reading, writing geography, most sciences. But when it comes to things like history, social studies, or even health, yeah, you get fabrication. It's like the old saying, I taught you everything you know, but I didn't teach you everything I know. That is so true in today's world. And the public education system will leave stuff out like, say, how certain foods and herbs can cure and prevent illnesses. At least they never taught me that in school. I tried them and it works, too. And then there's the bullying, which is abuse, by the way. Yes, that's right. Abuse. Anyone, who's, anyone who says otherwise is full of shit. But that's, but that's another topic, though. But I'll bet the parents are celebrating... It means they don't have to pay for a babysitter while they're forced to work their jobs just so they can keep their minivans and two-car garage homes and still be able to afford a swimming pool, that kick-ass home theater system, and every other expensive material possessions that their family, friends, and colleagues already have. Gotta have that image, right? That's what life is about, isn't it? I mean, you can't be having people think that you're even remotely below middle class. Otherwise, they'll never invite you to that barbecue while they're snickering about you behind your back. Seriously, why would you even want to please those types of people? You do know they'll turn on you the minute you can't give them their wants. Yeah, I'm getting off topic here, so I'll just end it. There's been a recent experiment in Ethiopia which has proven we do not need schools anymore. Absolutely not. As long as you give a child a, a computer, a little child, you don't have to give him any instructions or anything, and he'll be able to figure out the computer by himself and teach himself the English language, etc., etc., etc. He'll even be able to teach his parents the English language and all just for the cost of the laptop which is loaded with the programs. You don't need a teacher at all. There's absolutely no reason whatsoever to send your child to school unless you just need a babysitter and you want your child to be brainwashed by the social order. There's absolutely no reason what we should do with all of the schools is turn them into homeless shelters. They've got washrooms in them. They've got showers and gymnasiums. They have libraries. Some of them even have cafeterias. We could use the money that we save on education to help the homeless, to help people that, that need a, a lift, that need to be able to have a little help to get back on their feet. We don't need schools anymore. And this experiment proves it. I love that. I absolutely love it. 